Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Barton. And I'm Jennifer Ziegler. And we both write books for young readers. And we have this video series. This one's dedicated to where we talk with other authors, other creators of, of books for young readers about the dedications in their books. Um, today, we're talking with Kyle Lukoff. Hi there, Kyle. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jennifer. My cat, Shadow, just joined us. Too. Oh. All right. Well, and, and this is Ernie. <laughs> Here she is. Um, Hello. Oh, Shadow, not to be outdone by Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the book we're going to talk about, the dedication for today is Call Me Max. Yeah, would you mind, Kyle, reading the dedication aloud? Yeah. So the dedication says, for Bryn Kelly, this isn't the answer to your question, but it's close enough. Can you explain a little bit more about Bryn and, and why this book is dedicated to this person? Yeah, so it's, I'm not going to say it's a joke exactly, um, but it's somewhere in between deadly sincere and an inside joke. So my friend Bryn was this brilliant trans woman writer, and she lived in an apartment not far away from me with some of my best friends. And I remember one time I was over at their apartment, we were just hanging out and she asked us one of her just sort of general like pot stirring questions. She said, if you were gonna sell out, how would you do it? Like, what is the way that you would sell out? And I was having the hardest time thinking about it. I was like, I don't know, like, I don't really want to be a gazillionaire like I don't feel like I if someone offered me a a chance to like go back on my deeply held beliefs and make a lot of money I don't know if I would really do it um and I just I could not think of a good way to do it and then I got this and then I started writing picture books mm -hmm. and I sold when Aiden became a brother which is a more complex trans narrative than a lot of what we see in picture books. And then I got a deal to write this early reader series, Call Me Max, Max and the Talent Show and Max and Friends. And this one is much more of a sort of like basic trans 101 story. Um, and it's, I don't know, I, I, so this is not me selling out. Like I stand behind this book. This book is within my sort of ethical compass. I'm glad this book is in the world. Uh, this did not require me to compromise any of my artistic or political beliefs, but it's as close as I think I'm going to get to selling out. It's just sort of a basic trans 101, uh, like basic white boy named Max story that explains what it means to be transgender for cis people. So uh, I don't know, I just, for some reason I thought of Bryn with this and I know that it's not selling out and that it doesn't answer her question, but I thought of her. Would uh, would would Bryn be surprised by by the way that you addressed the, her question in the in the dedication? I mean, she would definitely tell me that it doesn't count. She'd be like, "That's not selling out. Like, selling <laughs> out would be selling out would be if I like wrote a a memoir or like if I if I like lied about my life story in order to make money." Um, or selling out would be if I like paired up with some famous trans person that we don't actually like uh, or something like that. Like that would all be selling out. And this this book is definitely not selling out. So she would be mad at me. She'd be like, that doesn't count. Like you don't get to do that. Um, and to be honest, if she were still living, I probably wouldn't be dedicating this one to her um, mm -hmm. because I wouldn't feel the need to be like, I answered your question, like, look, it it feels more like it's an in memorarium sort of thing. Whereas if she were still alive, she would be able to make fun of me for this book. And like, she'd also probably really like it. Um, I actually don't even want to predict what her opinion would be because you can never tell with Bryn. Um, so if she were still alive, it might not be dedicated to her, but also maybe it would be, I don't know. At what point did you know you were going to dedicate this book to Bryn? Did you know from the get-go or did it sort of come to you later? It came to me later. Um, I don't remember exactly when I decided, but I didn't think about dedicating Aiden to her because that didn't feel right. Like Aiden is just such a different book that it needed a different sort of thing. Um, and Max, I think was the first thing that I came out with. It just felt that felt right. It was the first book that I thought that I could use her name with. 
Um, and putting her joke about like, how would you sell out into it? Just was for me. Um, each Max book is dedicated to a different person that I felt like inspired by in some way. I wrote this article about uh, Arnold Lobel and I looked at who he dedicated all the different frog and toad books to. And there were some very interesting people that he dedicated those books to. Um, so now I'm becoming a little bit more interested, especially in a historical context, like who was friends with whom at specific moments in time and like how did those relationships shape their work? And if anyone ever like talks about me in any kind of scholarly way, they can really track like my friendships and my relationships through who I dedicate books to. Like the second Max book is dedicated to my friend, Steve and Ira. Um, the third Max book is dedicated to T. Sokol. Um, and then there's some books that are just dedicated to like vague ideas of community. But I think that if you like look at the specific people, it each person like represents a different part of my life that isn't necessarily related to children's literature. But if you if you ever do sell out, then you can dedicate that one to Brandon too, as and say, wait, this is the one. <laughs> yeah, just it's true. It differently. Yeah. I did it this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>